<clears throat> hey everybody, this has been with BRG Music. I'm going to revisit a riff we did a while back. Uh, we're going to talk about the White Worm, uh, White Worm main riff and intro by Marty Freeman. Um, the way I originally played it was what I figured out by ear and having subsequently seen Marty couple live a couple times and watched the videos of him playing it and everything, I noticed he does something a little different. Now, if I watch some like uh, pandemic era videos of the band playing the song and I watched Jordan Ziff play it and he played it very similar to what I did with uh, the pull off there. What Marty does, I think, is he does a little roll with his pinky finger on between the, the B and the G. So I'm going to go back through. I'll post the link to the original video so you can look over that method. But here's the way I think he plays it. Everything stays the same except for this one little bit. I'll walk through the, the whole riff again. So we're going to start with this uh, arpeggio. We're going to play 5 and 8 on the uh, E string. And then move on to 7 on the A string. Kind of like an A minor. And then we're going to play 5 to 9 on the uh, D string. <laughs> or seventh add nine or something like that right I slide that nine i slide to ten and the way i pick this is i pick down on the first on the big string on the e i pick down on the a string i pick down initially on the d string but when i hit the nine and go to do the slide i use an upstroke and that kind of helps set me up for what needs to happen in the new section i was having a lot of troubles keeping this going keeping it clean and i found that the way you pick it makes a huge difference especially with the uh, down, 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 up, and whatever you're going to do. So, so that's your first, first section, 5 8. So it's a good exercise on its own, and it's essential to get it down because the next section is the same thing, only starting at the seventh fret of the A string. So your pattern is going to be 7 10 on the A, 9 on the D, 7 to 11 on the uh, G and then slide to 12. So slowly, right? That's not too bad. It, it, it moves really nice and really easy. Now my next section is where things get a little tricky. This is where the variation comes in. So, uh, in my original video, I went So I did like a hammer-on from 9 to 10 on the D 9 to 12 on the G And a pull-off from 12 to 8 on the B And then ended on 11 on the G And that's what I... Well, I did in the original video, and that's kind of what I saw Jordan do in the pandemic videos. And he, if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that's what I think happened. But when you watch Marty play it, you don't see that move down to eight. Uh, what he did, I think, uh, he goes the same thing, nine to ten on the D, nine to twelve on the G, and then a nice uh, hit the, the B note, the twelfth fret of the uh, B string, Roll back to the G with your pinky and pull off to 11 on the G. This is where that picking comes in the downstrokes and then the upstroke, you know. It makes it easier for me to perform it if I do it down, down, and then, then ups. And I kind of set myself up in that first part with the down, 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 up, down, 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 up, you know. So. One more time slow. Then you kind of finish it the same way you would have finished it otherwise. Uh, a modified five string a minor arpeggio uh this goes way back to like um his first hotlicks video kind of thing so you play uh you start like an a minor arpeggio 12 to 8 and then you
you play 12 to 10 on the B string to add the B to the A minor arpeggio. And then you hit that uh, ninth fret of the G string, just like an A minor arpeggio. So far, the only thing we've added is the 12th fret of the B. And then we're going to do this little... Uh, we're using this B note again, and we're kind of uh, oscillating around the B and the C. And ending on the A on the 12th fret. So... It's going to be like 12, uh, 12, 8, 12, 10, 9, then uh, it'll be 10, 9, 12, 9, 10, 9, 12, 9, kind of thing like that. I don't sing, so I, I hate doing that. Uh, that kind of looks like what he does. It sounds right. I've got this tied around here to kind of keep things cleaner. I'm I'm having a hard time with some of those rolls getting them a, as sterile as I'd like them. But uh, that's going to be a, a, something you're going to run into. But uh, I guess try to look quicker. <laughs> I hope that helps. Again, it's uh, 5, 8, 7, 5, 9, slide to 10, 7, 10, 9, 7, 11, slide to 12, hammer on uh, 9, 10, 9, 12, and then the roll 12, 12, 11, you know, and then pull off uh, 12, 8, 12, 10, then hit 9, and then do your... If you have any questions or comments, post them below. If you find another way to play this that, that works and sounds kick-ass, please feel free to uh, share them. I'd like to see them. Uh, you can follow us here on, on our YouTube page. Check out our website, www.brgmusic.com. Uh, give us a call at 515-329-0120. Stop in if you're in the Des Moines area. We're about 35 miles northwest of Des Moines. Nice little quick 65-mile-an-hour drive up the road. And... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps um, and good luck playing and keep ripping it up. Later.